Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Izam and today's video, I, this is not going to be a tutorial. It's just going to be a run through of how I did this particular artwork. So I'm going to show you because this is just an experiment. I did this as an experiment to see how, how I can get uh, this result within, uh, I mean using Vectinator. So without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so I'm very excited to show you my process of how I did this. So this is just going to be a run through. It is not a proper tutorial. I'm just going to show you. I'm going to give a breakdown of the layers that I have and uh, the individual elements that uh, make up this uh, artwork. All right. So to start off with, the very first layer right on top is the vignette. This creates the look uh, that I wanted. All right. So it's like very dark and mysterious so this is how it looks like so I'm gonna turn this off so they can have a clearer picture of how it looks like without vignette with vignette see how interesting it becomes it sets the mood right so that's the vignette thing so I'm gonna turn this off so that we can uh, break it down even more okay so let's have a look uh, let's let's look at this flame here this huge flame in the background so we have that over here. This is the flame. Okay. And um, let's unlock this and have a look what's inside. So I have the basic flame, the shape over here. I'm going to move this over here on this side. So as you can see behind it, okay, right below this is actually another flame. The same copy that I, that I did, but I set the blur to 35 points. Check it out. If I remove the blur, it looks like that. See that? with the blur like that so it, it is just the blurring that you see here that creates the the effect of a of, of glow right and this can be done within vectinator all right so and the next thing that i'm going to show you is um, i'm going to lock this first is the blue horizon check it out if i don't put this blue horizon uh, horizon here what's going to happen it looks very it looks interesting but with the blue horizon here, it looks so much more interesting, isn't it? Right? You see that? It, it looks cool. Alright? So the same thing with the blue horizon, I'm going to show you. What I have here is the basic um, rectangle. It's just a rectangle with um, a gradient fill being applied to it. The linear gradient fill. See? Blue and then it goes uh, gradually into this blue color but I set the opacity very low see that? okay I hope you get the idea yeah alright so that's the blue horizon oh another thing is that I actually duplicate this and then flip it and put it over here let me see uh, over here and what I did was I go to style and I set the opacity to 45% this is how it looks like 100% and this is what it looks like 45% about there so it looks a much more natural uh, reflection see all right so let's lock this so the next one I want to show you um, is the ground let me see so if you can see there are some kind of looks like puddles over here now what what will happen if I don't put that puddle I'm gonna make it I'm gonna turn this off on off see the difference it makes is that it looks more um, convincing that this is a ground like an actual ground that the, the car is on right with this puddle it creates some kind of a texture to it, it makes it more interesting to look at okay and uh, that's the puddle the puddle is made up of uh, just curves like this some shapes which I created is basically ellipse many 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 um, ellipse and I combine them and then I set the color to a gradient fill all right so that's the puddle um, the next thing that I think I'm going to show you is the um, the smoke. Yes, the smoke. Do you do you see? Do you notice the smoke over here? So now let's break this down. The smoke 
is actually made up of um, ovals, ellipse, see? And I actually set the opacity low, I mean slightly low, 95%, as well as I made it to be blurry, see? When you make it blur, it looks very uh, translucent, more like a has that smoky texture feel to it, see? So it looks very nice. So you can experiment with that smoke. So that's the smoke effect. And lastly, the Tesla car. Now I don't, I didn't actually draw this. You can actually get this from Iconator. You just key in Tesla. Enter. And you can go ahead and get all these that you need. So I got this particular model. So I basically I just drag this out and put it over here. I'm going to show you right now what I did. It's going to create some layer. Get Iconator, put it over here. And that's it. Just get this. Then delete this. The wings. Right? And I change the, the gradient fill to the body the wheels and the side wing mirrors and that's basically it all right so i hope you like that run through it's not a tutorial and uh, i hope you get some ideas from it the basic uh, ideas of how to create such a such an artwork so if you do like this video do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe uh, if you do like this channel and uh, i'll see you in the next video goodbye